So our next speaker is Caroline Kinis from Universidade Federal do Pampa in Brazil. And uh, her talk is about the uh, parachlorodiphenyl disaline an organoselenium compound that modulates the glycolytic pathway through an insulin mimetic action in different experimental models. So, Caroline, are you ready? Yes. Hi, everybody. Let me stop. Can you share your screen? Yes, just a minute. You can see. No. Not yet. Now? Now it's coming, yes. Oh, sorry. Just uh, from the beginning. Yes. Here. So, okay. I would like to thank you for the organizer, for the opportunity, for this talking in this amazing event. So I will present my research work from Federal University of Pampa, Brazil, from Laboratory of uh, Biochemistry and Toxicology of Senorabidites elegans. So the title of my presentation is the Paracloro-Diphenyl Diselenite, our organic selenium compounds modulate the glycolytic pathway through an insulin mimetic action in different experimental models. So the World Health Organization predicts a global epidemic of metabolic disease for the next 30 years. This is because our modern lifestyle, like sedentary lifestyle, uh, sleep problem, and hard work, a campaign of excess of carbohydrate and fat in diet could alter our metabolism, could induce metabolic alterations mainly in the peripheric tissues like muscle, fat, and liver. So with this excess of carbohydrates and also fat in our diets nowadays, we could have these metabolic alterations begins, for example, in the muscle, in, in the fat, with a dysregulation and glucose uptake. So this could uh, favor the development of an uh, insulin resistant stage and also favor the development of type 2 diabetes. Uh, for example, in the liver, we have a dyslipidemic stage because we have an increase in cholesterol cytosis. And all these alterations, metabolic alterations in these main peripheric sites could compromise. Uh, others uh, lipids uptake in the blood, for example, and also favor an inflammation stage and also the development of atherosclerosis. So in this context, the organic selenium compounds have many pharmacological actions like anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, antioxidant, antiviral, anxiolytic, antidepressant, and also neuroprotective actions. So the paracloridiphenyl diselenite have a good result in the experiment with rats because they could uh, regulate the energy, the energy metabolism in this model of study and also have an anorexic effect in rats. So it has been demonstrated that this organic selenium compounds could regulate the glucose metabolism by regulating some uh, enzymes and protein that are involved in the uh, insulin pathway and also in glycolytic pathway. So this compound was able to regulate this glucose metabolism after a high those of fructose or glucose in rats by regulate the exokinase activity, increase the exokinase activity in the liver and decrease the lipotoxicity and also increase the glycogen storage. So in an in vitro study also demonstrate that 
these organic selenium compounds have a beneficial effect in the muscle by increased glucose uptake in this organ and also increase the GLUT4 translocation. In another study also demonstrate that these organic selenium compounds have a metabolic homeostatic action by regulate mainly MK, MPK pathway and also AKT emitter pathway in the liver and also in the muscle. There are proteins involved in a insulin signaling. So this could be an insulin mimetic action of these organic selenium compounds. So, however, it's very difficult to us um, work with mutants genes or mutants rats here in Brazil. So it's very expensive to work with these rats mutants in Brazil. So based on that, we decided to use another experimental model using an invertebrate model like Stenohabitus elegans because these worms are very used in the pharmacological and toxicological research. They are having many advantages like simple anatomy, easily cultivate in the laboratory, rapid, rapid development, short lifespan, all a small genome and all genome sequences. So it's very easy to work with molecular proteins in these worms. And also these worms have an insulin pathway similar with humans. They have genes homologous to the human genes in insulin pathway. So based on that, we decided to use this experimental model. And the objective of our research was evaluate the effect of these organic selenium compounds on glucose and lipid metabolism in C. elegans, and also investigate the modulate of DAF2, AG1, AKT1 and 2, PFK1, and also DAF16. There are proteins involved in insulin signaling in order to find a mechanism of action of this compound. So first, we start to investigate the effect of this compound in glucose and triglycerides levels. So we use different dose concentrations of this organic selenium compound from 0 0.5 to 1,000 1, micromolar and investigate the effect of these compounds in these metabolic, metabolic levels. So start with the concentration of one micromolar, these compounds was able to reduce the glucose levels and also the triglycerides levels. So after we investigate if these compounds was able to protect or decrease this glucose and triglycerides level after high dose of glucose. And also these compounds have able to decrease the glucose and triglycerides levels in C. elegans. So we decide to investigate how, how these compounds decrease the glucose and triglycerides levels in C. elegans. So we investigate the insulin pathway, use a knockout strength to insulin pathway. We use a knockout, a mutant, DAF2 mutant, that is homologous of insulin receptors. Age one mutant, there are homologous of P3 kinase, AKT and AK2 mutants, PFK, PFK1 mutant, and also DAF16, there are homologous to FOXO, and investigate the effect of these organic selenium compounds at different concentrations from 0 0.5 to 5 micromolar in glucose and triglycerides levels. So first, in the DAF2 mutant, 
the compound lose her effect on glucose and triglyceridose levels. That this result is different in white type strange. So this effect is dependent of DAF2 activator. So next, we use a AG1 mutant homologous to P3 kinase and investigate the effect of these organic selenium compounds in the glucose and triglyceridose levels. So in H1 mutant, these compounds did not alter the glucose and triglyceridose levels. So this metabolic action of these compounds is dependent of H1 activation. So, Next, we examine the AKT. The AKT1 is a farm. So in the AKT1 is a farm mutants, the, these compounds lose her effect in glucose and triglyceridose levels. So this metabolic action is also dependent of AKT1 activation. So in the AK2, AKT2, these compounds did not alter the glucose and triglyceridose levels. So also this metabolic action of these organic selenium compounds is depending on AKT1 and AKT2. So next in PFK1, Mutant is strange. These organic selenium compounds did not alter the glucose and triglyceridose levels. So appears this organic selenium compounds is this effect of this organic selenium compounds is dependent of PFK1 activation. So these organic selenium compounds could regulate the glycolytic pathway also. So we decided to investigate the end of insulin pathway and use a DAF16 mutant. And in DAF16 mutant strange, these organic selenium compounds did not alter the glucose and triglyceridose levels. So this metabolic action is dependent also of DAF16 activation. This is surprising because this insulin pathway did not activate DAF16. However, uh, these organic selenium compounds appears depend of this activation of these proteins. So, we decide to investigate if we block uh, the beginning and the end of insulin pathway, if these organic selenium compounds, um, if this effect is dependent of these two proteins work together, this beginning, it is the end of insulin pathway. So we decide to use our RNA interference and silence DAF16 in an AG1 mutant strain. So we used these organic selenium compounds in two concentrations of 10 and 15 micromolar. So in, the, in this study, we use a silence of DAF16 in an AG1 mutant. And these organic selenium compounds lose her effect in this glucose and triglyceridose levels. So appears this metabolic action of this paraplar, this organic selenium compound is dependent of activation of TAP16 and also H1. So in conclusion, this organic selenium compounds has the ability to regulate carbohydrate and lipid metabolism in C. elegans by regulate in a way dependent of DAF, DAF2 activation, H1, AKT, P3 
PFK1 and also DAF16 activate isolate in an isolate way. And also is dependent of age one and DAF16 activate together. So this DAF16 is the end of insulin pathway and is not activated when this insulin, active, insulin pathway is activated. However, others pathway could be contributing to this or this effect in the DAF16. So this is my research group. I would like to thank to all. Thank you for the organizing, for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Caroline. Wonderful talk and congratulations for your work. Uh, the paper is open for question, for questions. Alicia, Maurice, you can Alicia, levanta a mão, Por favor, Alicia. Uh, hi, somebody turned my video off. I can't turn it back on, I don't know why. Uh, anyways, very nice work, thank you. Uh, I was wondering, because all these DAF2 and downstream mutant pathway uh, mutants, they tend to have changes in behavior and also changes in reproduction. They tend to move less, for example. Uh, do your compounds do the same? Uh, or do they also change the movement of the animal and the reproduction of the animal? We did not test all these things because we focus on metabolic change. However, could, could have uh, any change. Yeah, because that might explain the changes in metabolism, just change in movement and, and vitality of the animals could be related to that. Yes, could be related to that, yeah. Also reproduction is a very, very high cost for C. elegans, so it might be interesting also. Yeah, is that a good idea? Thank you. Any other question? So if not, I will thank you again, Caroline, for the talk.